Good evening. Welcome to the forecast discussion for May 2nd, 2014. It is currently 7.19 p.m. It's a Friday evening and I am ready for the weekend. I know you are too, especially after the very wet week we've had. We have tranquil weather conditions in place and it's going to continue to remain in place throughout this upcoming weekend. For this evening, we have temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s over the interior, lower to mid 60s along the coast, and mid to upper 60s in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. We have winds from the west around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Overall, a very pleasant evening is on the way with some scattered cloud cover and an isolated shower possible over the Hudson River Valley. We're going to be seeing that quite a bit over the next several days as disturbances pass to the north of the region, possibly spitting off an isolated shower or two. For the most part, though, dry conditions can be expected with very comfortable temperatures and low humidity. So let's take a look at the latest radar, and you can see very clearly here, we have a few isolated showers here and there, nothing really to write home about. But this is pretty much going to be the theme through this upcoming weekend. You get these little weak disturbances like you're seeing here around the Mohawk River Valley in central New York. And they'll move east and they could touch off a shower around northeastern Pennsylvania, the Hudson River Valley, Connecticut. And in an extremely isolated case, possibly over central New Jersey, the further south you go, the more likely you will remain high and dry throughout this upcoming weekend. So if you're heading down to Wildwood, for example beautiful out you want to go visit the boardwalk or whatever well guess what should be dry with temperatures pretty close to 70 degrees same thing down towards philadelphia temperatures right around 70 throughout this weekend and very comfortable on the infrared satellite picture you can see here our cold front is well off the coast thankfully because we have another wave of moisture here this right here is all driven by the subtropical jet stream. We have a clear divide between the subtropical jet stream, which is right here, and the polar jet stream, which is right here, with another one of our disturbances rapidly diving south and east. That will weaken as it moves to the east towards the eastern Great Lakes and then through New England by tomorrow. This, again, will be another cold front. I'll touch off an isolated shower tomorrow and Sunday. Again, nothing major but more of a bit of a nuisance for the most part moving forward. On the water vapor satellite picture, I love using this just because it really shows the whole dynamics of the atmosphere and really gives you an idea of what we're dealing with here. And here we have our nice, large, upper level low in the Gulf of Alaska moving towards the British Columbia and the Pacific Northwest. Now, what this is going to do is basically spit disturbances across the eastern United States on the polar jet stream. So this is driven by the polar jet stream. And then way down here is our subtropical jet stream that has become amplified as El Nino develops. And you can see all the moisture lifting north along this subtropical jet stream. In between, that's where we are, and we're going to remain in a rather zonal, tranquil pattern all the way until about Thursday when things start to get a little bit more interesting with the threat for some rainfall. Going to use the European model guidance for tonight, but really you can use pretty much any model guidance at this point uh, as the pattern becomes a little bit more reasonable in forecasting as you get out to about seven days. And that's basically because the disturbances are a little bit weaker and there's less dynamics in the atmosphere to really stir things up here and make it the forecast a little bit easier for us. Now, for tomorrow morning, Basically, tranquil conditions can be expected as some sky cloud cover, temperatures in the mid to upper 40s for lows. And then by the afternoon for tomorrow, temperatures rebounding into the upper 60s to lower 70s throughout the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Mid 60s along Long Island due to a bit more of an influence from the Atlantic Ocean. Winds from the west and generally comfortable weather conditions. Again, one of these disturbances, like this one right here, or this one here, or this one down here, could touch off an isolated shower. But again, the key word here is isolated, as the atmosphere will be relatively dry. For Sunday, same setup. We have a disturbance passing to our north. Here's one low-pressure system with the trailing cold front. Here's our disturbances, and you can clearly see the separation between the polar jet stream, which is up here, which is producing a trough off the west coast, a ridge over the Rockies, 
and another trough over the east coast with a little bit lower heights over the uh, Canadian Maritimes leading to a weak negative NA out influence here. So what we're going to be dealing with is again a few disturbances producing an isolated shower or two. They're going to be isolated because the atmosphere is relatively dry at the mid-levels of the atmosphere at 850 millibars and 700 millibars. And so what we're going to be dealing with for the most part is scattered cloud cover, temperatures ranging from the upper 40s to lower 50s for lows, mid to upper 60s for highs. For Monday and Tuesday, same setup. Even for Wednesday, same story. We're going to be dealing with scattered cloud cover, an isolated shower here or there, temperatures in the mid to upper 40s for lows, upper 60s to lower 70s for highs. But notice, by the time we get to Wednesday, we have a little bit stronger of a disturbance with the subtropical jet stream, and that pumps up the ridge here. Now, don't get ahead of yourself and thinking, hey, it's going to get really warm. It will in Virginia, North Carolina, the Tennessee River Valley, where we're going to have a nice ridge, and you can see the warm air really getting itself act together over the Tennessee River Valley, even the Ohio River Valley. But notice it runs into a roadblock over the northeast. Let's zoom in on this here if we can. At 850 millibars, you can see very clearly here that the warm air kind of runs into a wall here. You can see this nice little gradient set up here. So what we're going to be developing here Wednesday evening into Thursday is periods of rain with a slow moving warm front and that warm front will be running into a block because of what's going on in the north northern Atlantic where we have a negative NAO pattern. We have a nice trough. Remember I was telling all the premium members out there this trough out here in the Atlantic is going to cause some problems for us and really prevent any hot and humid weather conditions that you might see, let's say, in Washington or Richmond or down towards Atlanta from really reaching the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. We're going to see this theme quite a bit moving forward throughout the spring and into the summer. So we have a high-pressure system fighting along here. I think we've seen this before with periods of showers associated with a warm front that's going to stall out. And for Wednesday... Not that bad. Again, temperatures in the upper 60s. We'll see the rainfall develop later in the evening. And then on Thursday, that warm front is just stuck over the northern mid-Atlantic. The warm air just is not able to push further north. At the surface, we're seeing temperatures in the 50s and 60s. At the mid-levels, we'll see temperatures that support temperatures in the 80s. We've been through this before, and we know what that means. Periods of rainfall can be expected depending on where this warm front sets up and where it stalls out. So Thursday could be a very wet day throughout the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. And where the warm front sets up will really tell us what type of temperatures we're dealing with, whether we're stuck in the 50s and 60s with an easterly wind coming off the Atlantic, or we drive up into the lower to mid 70s with sky cloud cover and some severe thunderstorms behind the warm front. A little bit of volatility there. We'll have to wait and wait for a, for a couple of days to see how that really plays out on the model guidance and in the overall pattern. Well, that is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.